Do you want to play Angie Botanist, Summon Scary Ghosty Thing, or Wear a Cloak that Makes You Look Like You're Hunting Kirito? We're going to be learning all Reaper rotations for leveling 1 through 90 in a very short amount of time. This assumes you're not a silly goose and have a reasonable idea on how to play games. I'm going to give you straight rotations for each major levels, and minor botany lessons because Square Enix is just so effing clever. Also, here is Lala as Spooky Slice because someone in my Discord got mad that my Warrior video had no Lala representation. And yes, I did buy a Fantasia just for this shot, committed to the cause. Reaper's level 15 single target rotation is Shadow of Death, Slice, Waxing Slice. Don't let Shadow of Death run out as this is your buff for personal damage on any target. This will also give you another benefit of building extra soul gauge, which we'll get to at level 50. Reaper's level 15 AoE rotation is none because we don't have any AoEs until 25. You will get the AoE version of Shadow of Death, which is Whirl of Death at level 35. So make sure you keep applying to enemies as you're AoEing them down. Fortunately or unfortunately, you'll just be GCD damaging up to level 50. I only give you this in case you do a leveling roulette and don't know how to use GCDs. At level 50, you'll get Bloodstock. This is our job gauge spender. You can build job gauge by just using your GCDs as well as killing enemies with death design applied. I think some people miss that second one, which is why it's important you always want to keep this debuff on the enemies. Reaper's level 50 single target rotation is Death's Design, Slice, Waxing Slice, Infernal Slice, Slice, Waxing Slice, Bloodstock. Every 50 gauge, you could use Bloodstock and keep buff applied. Also, Bloodstock, like the stock of a plant. Reaper's level 50 AoE rotation is Whirl of Death, Spinny Scythe, Nightmare Scythe. You also use Bloodstock whenever you get 50 gauge. This is where Final Fantasy XIV's Reaper starts getting fun. So let's quickly plow through the new abilities. Wrong plowing. At level 55, you get Grim Swath, which is your AoE gauge spender. Also, swath means large strip or large area, especially of land, like a grim piece of large land. At level 60, you get soul slice, which is your gauge generator. Using this instantly gives you 50 soul gauge. At level 65, you get an AoE gauge generator, soul scythe. Same as the previous ability, just AoE. You can tell this job is newer by the abilities so far and how well thought out they are comparatively. At level 70, we'll get Gibbet, Gallows, and Guillotine, which is not botanical related, just executioner related, which is just as good. You can use these abilities after using Bloodstock, Grim Swath, or Gluttony, a future ability that will give you stacks of Soul Reaver. These abilities are also your positionals, meaning you need to arrange yourself properly to get the max damage out of them, or just use True North, which is an underrated ability. Gibbet will be from the flank, which is the left or right sides of the enemy if facing forward. Gallows will be the rear of the enemy. Guillotine is just your AoE version. It also doesn't matter which one you use first, Gibbet or Gallows, just be in the right position for it or again use True North. These also upgrade your bloodstock with either Unveiled Gibbet or Unveiled Gallows, which is basically the same ability, just does more damage. So just remember Unveiled Gibbet and Unveiled Gallows aka Bloodstock. The same thing. Final Fantasy XIV Reaper's level 70 single target rotation is Shadow of Death, Soul Slice, Bloodstock, Gibbet, Slice, Waxing Slice, Infernal Slice, Slice, Waxing Slice, Unveiled Gallows aka Bloodstock, and then Enhanced Gallows. It can be confusing with the names, but basically Gibbet and Gallows buff each other, so you want to alternate between them. Luckily, you don't have to worry about the names, you just have to look at the shiny yellow borders around which skill in order to know what to use next. Reaper's level 70 AoE rotation is Whirl of Death, Soul Scythe, Grim Swath, Guillotine, Spinning Scythe, Nightmare Scythe. Keep your buff up and spend your soul gauge on Guillotine when able. At level 76, you'll get your next great ability, Gluttony, which is a standalone gauge spender that is independent of Bloodstock or Grim Swath. This also gives you two Soul Reaver stacks, so you can use Gibbet and then Gallows in succession. At level 80, we'll get our second job gauge in Shroud, which basically puts you in super plow mode and you do big damage. You get in Shroud gauge by using Gibbets, Gallows, and Guillotine. When you have 50 Enshroud Gauge, your Soul Reaver abilities turn into Enshroud abilities and you basically just do a faster rotation. At level 88, we'll get Plentiful Harvest, which will give us 50 Enshroud Gauge. 
This will also scale off our earlier ability, Arcane Circle, which was just a party buff, but now will give Immortal Sacrifice stacks. This basically just buffs Plentiful Harvest. Be warned, you have to use a GCD under the Arcane Circle buff in order to get at least one Immortal stack. If you don't, then you can't cast Plentiful Harvest. Gibbets, Gallows, and Guillotine will be replaced by Void Reaping, Cross Reaping, and Grim Reaping. You're just going to be using these five stacks here for these new Enshroud abilities. At level 86, we'll get Lemur's Slice and Lemur's Scythe. These are just going to replace your abilities, Bloodstock and Grim Swath. Sidebar, this is why Reaper can get a little confusing, but they're essentially all the same abilities, just continually getting upgraded. When you go into Enshroud and cast Void Reaping and Cross Reaping, you'll notice that your Enshroud gauge will go from 5 blue to 3 blue and to pink. The 2 pink will now let you cast Lemur's Scythe or Lemur's Scythe. Again, the exact same rotation is earlier, they're just faster and under a different Shroud gauge. At level 90 we get Communio, which is our finisher when we are in the Enshroud rotation. This should always use your last stack of Lemur Shadow. It is possible to accidentally use this before that, which then you'll lose all your stacks and miss out on a ton of DPS, so put it somewhere you won't accidentally hit it. Our Final Fantasy XIV Reaper level 90 standard rotation for a single target from the Balance Discord is Pre-Pull with Harp, Shadow of Death, Soul Slice, Double Weave, Arcane Circle, and Gluttony, Gibbet, Gallows, Plentiful Harvest, Weave and Shroud, Void Reaping, Cross Reaping, Weave in Lemur Slice, Void Reaping, Cross Weaping, Weave in Lemur Slice, Communio, Soul Slice, Unveiled Gibbet, Gibbet. Reaper kind of makes a lot more sense when you can see it happening. After this, it's just building Soul Gauge and Enshroud Gauge to get back into Enshroud as early as possible. We use Arcane Circle earlier because Plentiful Harvest can't be used for 6.7 seconds after the cast of Arcane Circle. So we get it up as soon as possible, then get our 50 in Shroud gauge from Plentiful Harvest. That is Reaper in a nutshell. Thank you to my Patreon to make this channel possible. These videos will be up for all jobs and you can find them in the description box as well as short form content with the exact rotations for each job. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you like to support this type of content. If you want to watch more Final Fantasy guides and content, then you can click here.